Hello, this is Laura Brandenburg, the creator of Bridging the Gap. I wanted to pop in today. We've been getting a lot of questions recently about how many jobs we're seeing in the business analyst space that have some sort of a data skill, like whether it's knowing how to write SQL queries or knowing how to create databases or just having some sort of a data awareness or business intelligence awareness, some aspect of data analysis or data modeling included. Lots and lots of questions about this. And the truth is that there's a lot of variety in the roles today. Um, and we are seeing a lot of like business intelligence or data analysis roles kind of get meshed together with business analysis roles, um, but they are really two distinct skill sets. So data analysis is like looking at the data to discover patterns and generate awareness and tell the story of what's happening inside the business in terms of the day-to-day -day transactional nature of the business. Data modeling is understanding how the data in a business is organized so that data analysis can happen. And really, um, data modeling is becoming a very essential skill skill set, whether or not you want to do data analysis or work on a business intelligence project in your work as a BA, you have to understand the data. You're improving a business process, often that's impacting the data that's being stored, that's going to impact you know, what kind of reporting is available in your organization. If you're touching a piece of the software, often you're also going to be uh, touching the data in some aspect. And so you need to understand um, how to communicate about the data and understand the impacts that the changes might have on the data. So it's super, super important. Uh, I have recently released, or we at Bridging the Gap have recently released a free training lesson specifically on data modeling. So we're gonna share a link below uh, when we're done here and you'll be able to register and sign up. That free training is available only through Wednesday, August 9th. Uh, hey, Moaz, nice to see you. Good topic. Yes, it's so, so important. I'm just gonna adjust this a little but I feel like I'm kind of low on the screen. Um, so important to do data modeling in some respects or kind of have this awareness of the data. So I'm glad that you appreciate that. Uh, but the free training is available through Wednesday, August 9th. Uh, and then we're opening up registration for our completely updated data modeling for business analyst course. And I will share more information about that once it's available. But right now we're really focusing on the free training and just getting the word out about how important this skill set is in the business analysis community. So to Couple other things I wanted to talk about, but if you're listening in, feel free to ask questions as well. Um, so one thing, the course, the free training covers five data modeling techniques. Our old course only covered four. So the techniques are glossaries, ERDs, entity relationship diagrams, system context diagrams, data dictionaries, and data maps. And we talk about not just like what they are, but how to use them or how business analysts would use them on a typical project. So projects like data migrations, system integrations, like all the stuff that's happening in the kind of environment that we're working in today, where we're trying to hook multiple applications together or make a business process more seamless by not having to have the users put data in multiple places. Um, that's a system integration project and the data piece is really, really important as you go through that. The other thing about data modeling, and this is, I think, like the secret sauce that isn't apparent when you're kind of avoiding it or feeling like it's a little bit scary is that these skills while they're very their skills to understand the technology and how the database is built um, they also really help you from a business perspective too so one of the other complaints that people talk come to us with is like I just got thrown into a business, new business domain and I'm being expected to kind of learn this language really quickly and I'm not quite sure how to do that. I feel like I'm constantly behind in the conversation or I want to be able to learn a new business domain and I, I'm not even sure how to get started. So the core skills of data modeling, it's really like how do people talk about information in your business? And something like a glossary or an ERD is gonna give you a tool to slow that conversation down in a very powerful, meaningful way and make sure that you can actually be clear about what a term means before you put it into your requirements document. So a lot of times we'll see like a less experienced VA just be like, oh, I'll just scribble down a bunch of notes 
and then I'll write my requirements and I'll come back later with questions. And that can be really frustrating from the business community side. Alternatively, if you're using, not like you would sit up and you know use a glossary in a meeting, but you're gonna use the technique of building a glossary to be like, you know, I'm hearing two different versions of this term here, or we've been talking about what an account means for a long time or what we need an account to do. Can somebody just clarify what exactly do we mean by account? Uh, and you would be surprised how that conversation, it shifts the conversation and you might first get this little like eye roll, like oh, why doesn't, you know, she doesn't know what she's talking about or she doesn't, she's not been around. And then you'll hear like two or three different <laughs> definitions pop up from different people. And you'll realize that the reason that they haven't been clear about their requirements is that the jargon is flying fast and everybody has their own understanding of what those terms mean. And so it's a really powerful skill set to be able to say, I'm hearing two different definitions, or let's define what some of these terms mean before we dig into the requirements, and to use these models as a gateway to having those conversations with your business community. So on top of kind of getting familiar in this increasingly technical, information-rich, data-focused world, it's really gonna empower you as a business-focused business analyst as well. And so I really do feel these are very very important techniques that you are holding your career back if you have not yet learned them or have been kind of burying your head in the sand about them, uh, which I've heard a lot too, like, oh, I really don't want to have to learn this. Like, can I get by as a BA without it? Is there a place for me without it? There's definitely places for you to not have to focus on this, but you need to be aware of it. You need to understand the data and you need to be able to talk about the data in an informed way. And that's what really data modeling is all about. And you can do it without being technical. So don't know SQL, me personally do not know SQL. Um, have not really written code and I can use these techniques to have powerful conversations about data. So again, I will put a link below about uh, to, to register to receive the free course and I hope you can join us. Drop a link below if you have any questions uh, for me and I just see a question comes up. Francis is asking, how do I qualify? Um, can you elaborate a little bit on that, Francis? Like how do you qualify for a data role or for the course or as a business analyst. Um, and so I'd be happy to answer that. Uh, Moaz asked, should I use all of the data modeling types in the same project or can I pick a suitable one for the situation? Uh, definitely, the free course actually walks through four or five different types of projects and which data modeling techniques you would use uh, for each of those. So definitely check that out. But most of the most of the time, you're not going to use all of the techniques. Um, you might system context diagram is kind of one of my go to's. It's almost always relevant. But if you only have one system and it's not talking to any other systems, you're probably not going to use it. Or you might just need a data dictionary. So you really want to pay attention to how is the data flowing in your project? Where is data being stored and passed between systems? And what technique do you, technique or techniques do you need to use to get to the root of that? Um, and to make sure that that's clear. And often, you know, there's five that we talk about in that lesson. Often it's just gonna be maybe two, three, you know, on a really big project that's very data intensive, you'll probably use all five. But for a more business functional type project, you'll probably just use two or three. So you don't always have to use all of the techniques, really important distinction. Uh, and Francis says, how do I qualify for a data role? Um, so there's a broad range of data roles in the marketplace. Um, you would definitely, for a, a true data analysis role, which is really not a pure business analyst role like we talk about at Bridging the Gap, but you're gonna need to know data modeling like we're talking about here. You're also going to need to be able to do the data analysis. And that means usually um, some sort of database management process, which is going to be SQL or or whatever, you know, whatever query language, database language is in use in that organization, and probably some sort of a reporting tool as well. Uh, and so a, a lot of data roles today are organized around specific business intelligence systems. So tools like Cognos and other tools like that in the marketplace. And so you're going to 
probably need to know that tool that's in place in that organization. And so if it's really interesting to you, kind of choosing a tool that you see come up a lot in your local job descriptions is, and then looking to get trained and experience in that is going to be a path into those data analysis roles, those pure analysis roles. Hope that answers your question. Uh, thank you both for questions and comments. It's always good to connect with people. You're welcome, Francis. And if you have other questions, if you're listening into this replay, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And again, we'll have the link. Join us for the free course and uh, we will be, be able to teach you a whole lot more about data modeling. It's a full like 45 minute lesson uh, video walkthrough of the different techniques and when we use them as business analysts. So, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, that's so sweet. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you then. And in, in, until then, you can find me at bridgingthegap.com. Again, I'm Laura Brandenburg, and we help mid-career professionals like you start business analyst careers. Thanks for watching.